Hey, what's going on guys? So this is a video for a lot of the people who had a lot of questions about the uh, A7S from Umidigi that I just unboxed. Now, it's a really nice smartphone. This is $80, a $80 smartphone. So not $100, not $130, not $150. It's actually $80 right now. So it's a really cool smartphone because it's gonna offer you a lot of things that smartphones have never offered you in this price. And even, even a really nice new feature that I've never seen before in a smartphone, the AI thermometer, which we'll get into in a little bit more detail, but I wanna open up the box and show you what we get inside. Uh, you're gonna get your SIM remover tool, you're gonna get your uh, jelly case for the smartphone right here. And the finish of this device is really good. It, it has a vinyl finish, uh, so no fingerprints will be apparent on this device. It has a really nice, decent weight to it as well, an in-cell display, so it's gonna be really good when you hold it in the hand. It's got a curved feel to it. At the top, it has a flat design, which is kinda cool. It's, a, it's like a sharp, um, sharp feel to it. Then you got your headphone jack right at the top, um, now this phone does have a gyroscope, which a lot of phones in this price point will, would never have, but this one definitely has that one. Uh, let's just go ahead. You know, this does have Android 10 Google Go, um, Android 10 Go. So you're, it's going to have all these shortcuts for different apps. Like, uh, you know, for instance, you can go to Instagram through your through the uh, shortcut option here. I think that's pretty cool. Everything launches really nice on this device. Now it is three, uh, it is a 32 gigabytes of internal storage on this device, expandable up to 128 terabytes. Uh, scrolling speeds are pretty decent on this one. On paper, I would have thought that this device would have performed not as good as it actually does in real life. In real life, this phone is actually um, I can recommend it for a lot of different reasons and you could see it's running really quick when it comes to the speeds I downloaded a few games I uh, You know, I was using the the maps application the Google Maps application for go and that worked perfectly fine as well now like I said this has two gigabytes of RAM on the device so I haven't used the device with two gigabytes of RAM in a while, but it's actually impressive. It's got a 20 by nine aspect ratio. Viewing angles on here are really good as well. Feels really good in the hand. Uh, like I said, you get that um, really nice flat top, flat bottom. On the bottom, you get a type C charging port on here. So $80 and you get type C charging. Speakers are really loud. You get that noise cancellation mic down below. And we're gonna go ahead, I'll tell you how the speakers sound. Now this device also does have a SIM card, uh, triple slots, two for your uh, SIM card, and then one for your SD. It also supports global bands as well. Now the processing chip on here, uh, <clears throat> it's a MT6737. Now I'm, I think that's like a P21 or something, I'm not sure what that translates to but it clocks in at 1.25 1 gigahertz now on paper you might laugh at that and say well how is that even you know like worth it well it'll come back to the price guys now this device does have facial recognition face unlock but there's no fingerprint sensor triple cameras on this device which actually give you a wide angle camera a 13 megapixel primary and then a 2 megapixel for depth uh, so the 13 megapixel primary, 8 megapixel ultra wide. It's really good. You get portrait for the rear camera, but you don't get portrait on the front. The, now this does shoot in 720, 30 frames per second. So the camera footage on here, I'm going to show that to you later in the video. So make sure you stay locked in with me. But, you know, um, it's really impressive. Pretty decent for the price that you do also get. Um, some pretty good features on this device. Now you do get screencast on here. You do get uh, 
other features on here you can customize right down below so you get night light for reading nearby share focus mode things like that hotspot on here as well uh, so I have the dark mode on here Android 10 it's running really smooth for a phone of this price point the display is absolutely it's I've been using it in the Sun and I didn't have any issues with it now you do get the smart key right here on a single click it can open up a thermometer which is this the key feature of this device you get that thermometer but you can also open up Zello which is a, a, a messaging app where you don't have to text you could talk through it like a walkie-talkie uh, open SOS you have you get screenshot flashlight and screen recording or you can open up a different application here with that uh, dedicated single shortcut option that's kind of cool a lot of phones don't do that you can double click and get some shortcuts here for any app so you pretty much tailor that as well smart assistant as well so you can have an emergency rescue option when you hold down these buttons at the same time with the three fingers uh, through screenshot when you slide up real fast or you, you point three fingers to point slide fast and then three fingers to into the camera uh, so those are some cool gestures that they implemented. You also get your gestures as well as two button and three button. So I think that's kind of cool. So in the sound department, you do have your option to change ringtones. You get uh, you get your touch vibration on here, haptic feedback. Uh, you get your boost based as well. Different features on here that I like. Um, now, the, the device gives you a pretty decent amount of storage. I still have 19 gigabytes free. And, um, you know, everything you can pretty much access through this little shortcut here. So it's going to give you options to go to all apps. And then you, it gives you tons of different apps to choose from. Let me go back there so I can show you the apps. Zillow, Twitter, TripAdvisor, Amazon, Instagram, Tag, Twin, uh, Tumblr, Moco Space, YouTube, things of that nature, Google Maps, even photos is in your files as well. All your news outlets. This is kind of sick how they did that. You don't even have to download apps on this device because they're already pre-installed through this browser. And you could click here, astrology.com. I don't know if you're into that. I haven't looked at astrology in a Mendo, but you can see... It is Scorpio season, so let me just check that real quick and see what that looks like. So you can see the loading time is really fast. Today is an impulse. Could be your saving grace. In the midst of action, you might uh, I gotta read that later. We'll get back into that in more detail, but uh, the cameras I like on here because you could switch to the wide angle right here. You hit that button you could switch to the wide angle and when you when you take shots with the wide angle I'll put these up as I'm doing the video let me uh, put him here you could so I have it on the wide angle right now and then you could switch it to the regular angle tap to focus or auto focus as well it still auto focuses by itself that looks pretty cool you get your portrait on here as well in the camera I'm gonna show you guys some of the portraits that I took some of the different uh, camera details that I put up C Butler. And I did get two days of battery use on this device. It did get me through. So let me show you a screenshot of that because I did take a screenshot. All you have to do to do a screenshot on this device is hold down this button in the bottom volume rocker. Now go to files right here. Now this device feels really good in the hand too. I, have, I don't really want to use the case because the back of it feels so good in my hand. So I just kind of put the case away for a rainy day but this device is $80. Like I said, again, it has that vinyl finish. So it feels like the back of a record, like when you're scratching, when a DJ is scratching 
uh, uh, like the back of a record at a, at a party or something like that. So you can go to all images and just go to screenshots. And then when I go to screenshots, I'm gonna show you my battery performance. So I got this thing down to 16%. And it did say that I did use the phone for two full days. So that was their vow. They, they did say that this phone could get two days. I did get that three hours and 40 minutes screen on time. Um, so I was doing a ton of stuff on here. I was gaming, watching movies for a long time. Let it said does say that I was um, watching YouTube ninety two percent of the time. So you can see that was my bar. I did charge it right there. As you can see, it did go up. So it doesn't have great screen on time, but it has great standby time. Um, pretty decent, and it's a four thousand one hundred fifty milliamp hour battery now some of the other things that's pretty cool about this device um, the video comes out pretty good for it you get that button right here where you can take temperature of um, by putting this object you can take temperature of objects or people and then it has the records of those um, temperatures and stuff you could change it to Celsius or Fahrenheit so I think that's cool so if I put this thing to my head, first you gotta put it to your head. This thing right here is the actual sensor right here. You put that, face it to you, tap it. And whenever I go to the gym, they make me do that. Like, let me, let me put this to my head. Let me see if I got it. I didn't get anything. It didn't say I got anything. Let me put my hand here and measure that. 97 so you know it, uh, my body temp is a little bit hot i don't have like any flu symptoms so that's good so if you were to have people enter your house you could always check each individual person one by one before they enter your crib and that way you'd be protected i also did download kindle books this device does open up apps pretty quickly for the most part so since it's android go what it is is that you won't have the option to multitask on this device. You can't open up to uh, and do split screen. But a lot of people don't really do split screen anymore. But that's a really sick feature. Um, the words on here look really sharp. And I didn't have any issues. It didn't hurt my eyes. I was able to take notes and read on here. There wasn't any issues whatsoever. Um, two day battery, 4,150 milliamp hour battery. Um, even the gaming on here is really good. I have Asphalt um, on here. I'll do a dedicated gaming video, but you could play games like Asphalt on here, PUBG, Call of Duty. So you can hear this sounds pretty good for the speakers. Let me turn that up a little bit. Actually sounds clear. And, and, and um, let me go to the new race uh, next. It sounds really clear. There's like not much bass on it, but it has a nice, clear, punchy um, uh, hit hit to it. It's not it's not tinny. It doesn't sound cheap um, like like smartphones from the past that were made in the past by other companies. Um, there's been a lot out there that sounded tinny, but it does sound pretty decent. Let's turn that down and. Right off the gun, you can see um, performance is really good on this device. I was honestly impressed with this thing. So I was taking out tons of people just now with that thing. Um, really reactive. And one of the things I was surprised about with this thing is that there's no um, glitches when you're gaming. No glitches on here. So you can see, boom. Oh, I thought I hit that wall. So look how clean that looks. Um, definitely a game, a phone you can do a lot of things on. So the fact that it's running this so clean is uh, pretty impressive. I haven't seen one skip as well. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, so this is probably like a really fun game to play on here. If you were to get this phone, I definitely recommend it. But I also did download PUBG and Call of Duty. I'm going to do a dedicated gaming um test on this phone this is this is just really addicting okay let me close this out because i wrecked 
but um, the phone is powerful enough to game and play different um, games like PUBG, Call of Duty, um, you know, Bleach 3. I have all my social media on here. I listen to a lot of music as well, so I have Spotify on here as well. I did get through two days with this phone, so overall I thought that was impressive. But I'm gonna leave some photo samples up so you can see the photos of, the, of some of the photos I took on this device as well as some video samples on the front camera and on the rear of this phone as well. My favorite thing about this phone is the cameras and the, the feeling of the phone in the hand. It has a really nice finish to it. Um, I'm surprised about the overall display. It looks really good for the price of $80. I could kind of recommend this to anybody and I would probably get this for somebody for the holiday if they needed a phone because that's the best price I've seen for a phone and at $80 for this performance. Hey, what's going on guys? This is the front facing camera on the Yuma Digi A7S. Let me know how it's doing. There's actually a zoom button on here so I could zoom in. I'm not sure why I would ever want to get that close, but it's there. So let me know how the microphone sound when I'm talking through it. And let me know how the auto stabilization is as far as the electronic image stabilization. Hey, what's going on guys? So this is the Umidigi A7S. And right now I'm using the wide angle mode for the video. So this phone does have go up to 720 in the video maximum. And it does have a wide angle camera. All right guys, so this is the normal camera. And this is how it processes movement of plants and things like that. It also goes up to two times zoom with the button. I'll see you guys later and I'll be right back with you. Peace.